So let's talk about the number of takes you should do when you're recording a video. And also, I'm gonna mix it in how to really be able to help somebody, uh, you know, be good on camera and what I call quote unquote directing. And, and it's, it doesn't matter if it's a customer that you're, you know, capturing a customer testimonial um, or if you're helping a colleague or somebody and you, you're filming them and then, you know, getting the information out of them. So let's first of all look at the number of takes. Uh, you know, what is a take? So a take essentially is, well, you're trying to deliver something. You have your content sheet, you have your bullet points, what you want to talk about, and you want to be able to deliver it. So here's what typically happens. I'm going to grab my sheet. So I have my content sheet and I have my bullet points that I'm going to go through. And I'm going to say, great. I'm going to talk about how to guide a person to be great on video. It's one of my topics and I have a, a four or five bullet points underneath it. Now I'm going to say, great. Number one job is to make them feel comfortable. All right, so I'm looking at the camera. And I'm gonna say, great, so let's talk about how to make somebody feel comfortable and be really good on camera. Here's the trick. The first one is to make them feel comfortable. So I kind of deliver that as my first one take. And then I think to myself, you know, I could probably make that smoother because I said comfortable twice. So let's try that again. Okay. So here, I'm going to talk to you about how to properly direct somebody um, on camera to get really great content. The first thing you want to do is make them feel extremely comfortable. All right, so that would be take number two, right? And hey, I said to myself, that's actually pretty good. Um, and I feel comfortable about that. So here's what most people do. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. <laughs> Let's try it again. And they keep going. Here's my take on it. Um, that's a pretty funny pun, isn't it? All right. So my take on it is that you, yes, you need to make sure that you get the bullet points and the talking points in it. So that's your number one priority. So did you get the point in, point across, point across? Very similar to if you're presenting something. Now, if you were going to do this again, if you missed something, um, you have an option to basically say, well, do I need to record the entire video again? Or can I just record this last segment where I screwed up? And the answer is yes, because you can cut the different segments and put them together. Even if the cuts are a little bit rough, and we'll talk about that when we get to kind of editing, it's called a hard cut. Don't worry about it. You don't need to be 100% smooth. Even if I cut something and then all of a sudden I cut it and I'm looking over here and then I cut back and I'm looking over here. <laughs> it's okay. Those hard cuts are actually quite normal and they don't have to be super smooth. So they're quite easier to do in basic editing. Even a professional could cut them together. But when it comes to these takes, here is our experience and my experience for the last decade. Anything past take number three and your performance starts tanking. The reason your performance starts tanking is because you start thinking about not screwing up and you're not thinking about this content anymore. And so you're really trying to force memorizing the line and you're like, I know I can say that word. I got to get it right. Right. And then you're forcing yourself. And as soon as your mind starts talking about trying to remember this, you know, you're on take number 15 over here. You know, you're wasting your time. Your brain starts going down this dark path and it's a nowhere. Remember this whole take one, take two, take three was designed from the video production film industry for actors, right? To get the reason there were different takes is to get the different feels of the different scenes. None of this is actually kind of makes sense for non actors or business people who have no formal education or practice on becoming an actor. So this is what I recommend is, you know what? Focus on maximum of two takes. Make sure that you hit your bullet points, right? That is the number one thing that you want to do. 
Forget the fact is yes, you can always get better. You'll always do that. And naturally, you're gonna get better on video the more you do it. I personally don't do two takes anymore. I just do number one. That's what I do. Yes, if I make a mistake at something, obviously I'll cut it out uh, or I can re, you know, make sure I get that content in there, but I got my uh, cheat sheet and my topic points, but I also only talk about content that I've been doing for a decade, right? Which means this stuff is so automatic for me. And I know I can get it better, and I've said this in other uh, lessons in the video, but for me, it's like, hey, I need to get that content out there. And for me, 90% good enough as long as I hit those things. This also counts for you working with, you know, customer testimonials or helping people, you know, direct them uh, on video. So we're going to talk about that next. All right. So let's talk about directing a person to be great on video. Here's my problem with the word directing. Directing is for the film industry. Director goes, yes, I want this feel and more motion, right? And the actors are supposed to be directed to bring that out, to match the scene, yada, yada, yada. The problem is real people have no idea, right? And the worst thing you can do is to say to somebody, that's great. Listen, can you say that a little bit faster? Or can you say that, you know, a little bit, you know, softer? Or can you talk about this? You're actually directing that person. Now, don't get me wrong. We all seen the Hollywood movies and we've seen how directors direct, right? But the problem is when you do that with a real person, that's not trained, they automatically start being not themselves. And hence, you turn into the talking head that looks like this and is unemotional and is really, really boring, right? Because it's not themselves. So here's the number one thing that you can help anybody, including yourself, to be great on camera. I lied, there's three things. Number one, be authentic. If the person is a light speaker, if the person just naturally takes a little bit of time just to warm up, be themselves, that's it. That's, you have to encourage that and you have to embrace that. Look, and some people are not meant to be on video camera, it's just who they are, but you cannot change them from who they are. They need to be themselves. So when you direct, I always tell people, it's just like, that's great. You're doing a fantastic job. They're like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, because I talked to you before we hit the record button and I'm talking to you now after I hit the record, mother, the record button and you're the same person, which is great. If you ever see the person being different when they're on camera, that's a problem, which means they're not being themselves. They have to be comfortable. Right? This is a key component to helping somebody, you know, on video is be comfortable. And that means is, is there people inside the room that shouldn't be there, right? This is just a crappy day, right? They've had, they're tired. Are they not comfortable? All these things matter, but it's all about trying to be themselves. And including when you're on video, just be yourself, right? You have to find that perfect balance. So, the helping people be comfortable on camera doesn't have to do with any directing experience. It actually just takes practice to encouraging people to be themselves, to believe that what they're talking about is they, they know it, right? And just literally getting them comfortable to have a regular conversation as if they were having a cup of coffee with you, you know, in a nice, safe environment. So that's it. There is the secret to helping people be fantastic on video.